I scared anyone or I'm continuing to do so, look in this hot mess right here. I got a soapbox in the mail from Potion Dust Bath and Body. And uh, Potion Dust is actually a pretty, yeah, fairly new company. I think she's been open for a few months. Um, she does handmade bath and body products. And all of her stuff is super duper cute and she's just really great and wonderful and nice. I come to the camera looking gross on purpose because I'm going to actually open up this box and show everybody what's in it. And then I'm going to go down the hallway there. See that light right there? That is my restroom. That is where my tubby lives. And I'm going to take all of her tubby indie soapy goodness to the tub with me. And all of all the cute stuff in the box. Shiny. Let's dig right in so I can get through all the product with you. And then we're going to find out how well it all works. An unsinkable tribute themed box. And I've just got to say this card, this description card with all the things on it is so pro. I'm jelly of your card right now, bro. A tribute to the sinking of the RMS Titanic. Uh, the card says in memory of those who lost their lives on April 15th, 1912. And we're just gonna dig right in cause like, I can't wait to use this because all of the scents, um, if it's as cohesive as the last collection was, all of the scents will complement one another and I will smell like all of the sinking of the Titanic, which I'm fairly certain in this case is gonna be a good thing. Okay, spit like a man. Where's the thing with the spit like a man label? Y'all remember that scene in the movie? Jack and Rose standing on the dock. Dock. <laughs> they never stood on a dock together. Um, spitting off the side of the boat. There we go. It's the lip balm. Spit like a man. One of my favorite movie scenes, nothing says first class like hawking a loogie off the deck. Fresh lemons baked in a light fluffy cake with vanilla extract, rum, and tonka bean topped with a powdered sugar glaze. This sounds amazing. I am really disappointed right now that I didn't think to open this before I started making a video. Okay, so her lip balm is awesome. And do I look like a cross-eyed freak when I do this? So her lip balm is actually a really nice consistency. Look at all the cute little boats all over it. Ah, the cute. Mmm, that is really lemony. And it is also not sweetened, which I actually like because I am less likely to lick this off of my lips and need to apply more and more and more. And we will not discuss how many of these. Man, that feels good too. I can't stop smelling it. It's like lemon pledge and cake on my face and it's delicious smelling. I don't eat it because like it's lip balm and it doesn't taste good, but it smells absolutely awesome. And I am upset now that I'm going to have to wipe this off so that I can smell the other things because this is a nice, strongly scented lip balm. Jack and Rose is a new pro- ooh, a new product! Oh! I love new products. Jack and Rose conditioner. An unspeakable match of true love, even midst tra tragedy. A mix of roses with berry undertone to it make the perfect sweep of floral scent. You will fall in love with it. Now, I'll tell you what I am falling in love with before I even smell it, is look at the consistency of this. Look at that! Holy crapola! I cannot wait to put this in my hair. That smells exactly like the description. Like that is roses and berries. That might be a rose jam dupe. But at any rate, it smells delicious in her conditioner. Like I don't like rose jam at all. <sighs> it smells effing delicious in this conditioner. Holy crap. I might actually be using that even though I don't like rose jam. I kind of like Jack and Rose, so. Okay, moving along. Starry night. <laughs> okay. Jen does these sample shampoo bars, right? And they're awesome. The last one was a heart. And it was kind of hard for me to hang on to it, to use it, because um, it was real smooth and it was real little. And mind you, I'm like 4 foot 10, 4 foot 11 on a good day. Um, so I have little hands. They're like little carnival people hands. They're tiny. But 
this shampoo bar was like this and it was like it was a heart shape so it was like trying to grab onto it like this and it got all wet and it was like pew and I didn't get to use very much of it because it just went flying so and I don't know that she like this is the most clever thing I've ever seen I'm gonna go ahead and open this um it's the <laughs> she went ahead and named her shampoo bar it's the poo and it is because it works really well if you can hang on to it and get it in your hair. I have a feeling I'm going to be able to hang on to this one though and get it in my hair because of its shape this time. And this is so cute with her whole theme. So, starry night. The ship hit the iceberg shortly before midnight. The stars were so bright passengers thought they were ship lights. Strong white flowers with notes of jasmine, whatever that word is. I'm not even going to mispronounce it right now. Tree moss and musks. So this I'm expecting like a flowery green scent <laughs> and it's so pretty. So I say that I'm going to be able to hang on to this one because look at the shape of this guy. Look at this. It's a little ship. How flippin' adorable is this right now? And look, I can hang on to, don't, please don't look at my nails, but I can hang on to this bar of It's the Pooh and get it all up in the, and it won't go anywhere because I have these little grippies that I can position my face. Oh my God. I can't even with this thing right now. Like I almost don't want to use it because it's adorable, but I'm totally going to use it because it is now more functional for me. Hooray! Plus it smells exactly like it says it will. It's the poo. It is the poo. Ah, we have a lotion board. Lotion bar until the end. The heroic musicians, including leader Wallace Harley of the Titanic, played sweet music until the end. A buttery cutout cookie with sweet frosting, candied cherries and fruits along with frosting, sprinkles and powdered sugar. Wow, this smells like... Okay, I haven't smelled it yet, so I don't know what it smells like, but it sounds like diabetes. Which I know is not funny, but come on all of the sugar things. Wow. All of the sugar things indeed. Okay, so this is a solid lotion bar. Ooh, and her formula is amazing. Holy crap. Um, this is a solid lotion bar. This gets put on right after a shower um, while your skin is still damp and warm from said shower. And this is like already starting to melt in my hands a little bit. Jen, like thumbs up on this one because good Lord, my hands are not that warm right now. But you would just, and I'm going to put it right here on my pasty white arm so you can see. You And mine is green. I know a friend of mine got a blue one, I think. But you would just rub it right on. And see, not too offensive with the color. And normally I put this on wet skin. And right after a shower, um, it'll soak that moisture. Your skin will right up. But I don't know if you can see, but there's not really any shiny going on on my pasty white arm that I'm so white that you can see right through it but it's not greasy at all I understand that it's the poo is the shampoo but this is the poo two thumbs this is the potion dust wash me and this one is called half full but it is not half full you can tell like the full like two ounces or whatever supposed to be in there is in there because there was no leakage in the package so Hooray! Half full. Lifeboats, lifeboats launched with very few passengers. It was Margaret ba Brown. Reading is fundamental, children. Learn to do it. And then when you're 35, don't fail at it on YouTube. It was Margaret Brown who insisted they go back for survivors. How effing hard was that? Sweet lime blended with juicy orange and tangy tequila. All right, well, like, I'm not real sure what you're trying to do to me, Jen, because tequila is my weakness, and if this smells anything like a margarita, you and I are going to be having a talk. Potion dust. Holy crap, Ollie. That smells like a damn margarita. I love, hate you, potion dust. So much right now. Oh, I want a margarita now. This is delicious. And I want this in all the things. Ah, the whip soap. Jen's whip soap. This is my favorite shaving accoutrement. Jen's whip soap. Potion Dust Whipped Soap, first class. Look how cute her labels are. I just like, I didn't comment on it earlier, but her labels are just 
adorbs this time around. It's always got like this shimmery, shiny consistency going on to it. Like this sheen on it. Look at that. Like that is just decadent as hell. Now my camera hates the fluffy. It always hates the effing fluffy. Focus on the fluffy. Show me the fluffy. Show me the fluffy. Fluffy? Anybody? Fluffy? Show me the fluffy. Can I get here with it? There! Ah, I figured it out! Look at the fluffy. Please don't look at my nails, but look at that fluffy, delicious whip soap. Nom, nom, nom. And it's funny because her whip soap lasts me about a month because I use it for shaving. And it's awesome for that. Wash her bod with it, put it on a loofah, it makes lots and lots of fluffy, foamy stuff. This is a bunch of damn question marks. I recognize this. It's a flippin' bar of soap. But look, it's a mystery. So potion dust, mmm, soap. And there's no, oh, guess the scent. Guess the scent, email potion dust at outlook.com. So I will not, not be describing what I feel like this smells like, but I will be showing it to you. And this is, aw, this is a cute little soap. Oh, it has something inside of it. Oh, it's an, it's an iceberg, look. Look, see, it's the water. And see, like there's just a little bit hanging out, but can you see through? The semi-clear soap here. Where's my phone? How about now? You see the iceberg inside the soap? How clever is that mess? How insanely and, and adorably clever is that? Like the part that's lit up white here is the effing iceberg inside of the soap, which is the little bitty peak pointing up. Oh, there's glitter in it. <gasps> there's glitters and iridescent shimmery things and what looks like little bits of snow on the top. This is so adorable! Jen, you have really outdone yourself this time. This, like I would love to see this in a full size bar with just like this big hunk of munk of just iceberg awesomeness. I would never wash with it. Like I'm tempted to like not use this. And this is what distracted me in the first place is all of the, look at the cute little, the packaging, the shiny and the blue and it's all just blue and sea and nautical and beautiful without being cheesy or corny and it's just lovely there was this little and there's a code on it um so you're gonna have to buy the soapbox to get the code but there's this little business card sized boarding pass but there's a cute little fun fact. Did you know that Milton Hershey purchased a ticket for the Titanic but never got on board? I am really glad that he never got on board because Hershey's chocolate is effing delicious. And um, although I would not know what I would be missing um, had Mr. Milton Hershey gotten on the Titanic and died, uh, I'm pretty sure that the world would be a much sadder place than it is right now. Um, because chocolate. I'm going to head for the tubby and um, I'll be back to give my thoughts on how certain things performed. And I'm back. Obviously I have washed the bod, washed the hair, washed all the things, and it's not probably not that obvious to you that I've washed all the things. But trust me, they're shiny. They smell delicious. But enough about me. So, um, I used the shampoo bar and, um, first things first, fit right into my hand the way it was supposed to, lathered it all up. Not for my hair type. It smells lovely, it lathered nicely, it was great, but it didn't rinse out the way that I expected it to. Uh, Jen did tell me in a conversation and does list on her website that it is for normal to oily hair. And I have normal to dry hair with super oily roots after not washing it for two days in preparation for this video. So, um, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. Okay, so it did what it was supposed to do, but it just didn't wa do what it would have been supposed to have done if I had that type of hair. Yeah, so the conditioner is lovely. Like, my hair is... Oh, it's soft and it's... Like, you can see the shiny. Like, that's color-treated like 
Can you see the roots? Okay, that's color treated hair and look at the shiny in the color treated hair. The conditioner is lovely, just I don't want it in that scent. Uh, the scent that I want it in is that margarita, I forgot what it's called, I don't have the card next to me, that margarita awesomeness smelling like a fucking liquor cabinet on the beach, margarita, give me that. I will margarita scent all the things. That was just lovely. <laughs> Yum. Um, because my hair ended up smelling like all of the rose jam, even as I finished my shower, uh, I had to go back and wash it out of my hair with the whipped soap. The whipped soap smells lovely. I smell like all the nautical springy things right now, except for Jack and Rose. And I'm perfectly happy with that because, um, yeah, everything else was just lovely, 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 lovely. Give me more of all of that stuff. Um, but Jack and Rose, I will not be putting that in my cart. Um, if you like Lush's Rose Jam, I think you will like Jack and Rose. Um, but I don't like either of those things. I did find out that that Margarita Wonderfulness is one of Jen's very first custom blends that she has devised on her own. Two thumbs! Make sure that you order your potion dust box before she sells out because they are available to very limited quantity. So um, you can go to www.potiondust.com and I'll put a link in the do upper right here, link in the jeans. Uh, like normal, um, to get to her website, her Facebook page, um, and her Facebook fan group, whatever. The group is fun and she's always got something, you know, some bit of news or something um, to keep, keep you entertained if you um, crave that kind of thing. And uh, I do because that's the cool thing about indie companies is they will interact with you where bigger companies Eh, not so much as like a team of six or seven people sitting in a cubicle farm somewhere answering all of your Facebook and Twitter and Instagram needs where uh, with an indie company and by indie I mean independent with an indie company uh, oftentimes you get to interact with the owners and the creators themselves um, and this is very much the case with Potion Dust so two thumbs Recommend, highly recommend. Please try the box. If you join the Facebook group um, or find her Facebook page and like it, uh, make sure to leave a little comment that Donna sent you so that um, she knows where you came from. If you're an especially lurky lurker, she will blame me anyway. And when you get your potion dust box, don't forget to go to the website uh, and check out all of her full size things in her regular line. Um, as well as the tr the Unseekable Tribute line, and uh, send your email guesses for the Mystery Scented Iceberg Soap um, to Potion Dust at Outlook.com. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this first look, and uh, you know, comments and all the stuff and whatnot. If you're already a Potion Dust customer, tell me what you think of them, and uh, let me know what other kinds of things that you think we should all be ordering. Don't forget to check out the links in the jeans, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend.